Think Parks. There is about a trillion trillion gold atoms in a cubic meter of gold. The U.S. has over ten trillion dollars of debt. There are about four hundred billion galaxies in the universe, which is about fifteen billion years old. There are about four hundred billion cells in a human brain, a few years old. The average galaxy has about four hundred billion stars. The average human cell has about four hundred billion atoms. The world has over six billion people, and over a thousand of them are billionaires. There are over three hundred million people in the U.S. The odds of winning a top lottery prize is about one in a hundred million. Light travels almost three hundred million meters per second. There are over thirty million seconds in a year. There are almost three million emails sent worldwide each second. The diameter of a human hair is about twenty-five millionth of a meter. The diameter of an atom is about one tenth of a billionth of a meter. Concentrations of mercury greater than one part per million is considered toxic. How can we visualize? Appreciate and understand such big and such small numbers that we encounter each day. Think parks are facilities that provide a visual representation of such big and small numbers. Think parks can be set up anywhere where there is a hundred meter long path. This can be on the side of a sports field, a schoolyard. A city park, a shopping mall parking lot, a cemetery, or a natural reserve. Think parks can be used also to promote the meditation of the universe, of life in it, and of where we fit into it all. Think parks can include rocks and trees of various types, as well as various walks representing the universe. Galaxies, our solar system, and the atoms that make everything in our universe. Think parks are outdoor museums that promote education in various disciplines such as physics, chemistry, biology, geology, history, and philosophy. The think park is basically a hundred meter long path. The basic unit in a think park is one meter. Represented by a one-meter-long metal ruler placed at the start point of the hundred-meter-long path, the metal ruler is marked into a thousand divisions, each one millimeter long. A ten-meter mark is clearly visible ten meters away from the start point. A hundred-meter mark marks the end point of the hundred-meter path. A well-known and preferably visible point. One kilometer away from the start point is referenced. A city a thousand kilometers away is also referenced. The reference points allow representation and visualization of the following number comparisons: one tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth, one millionth, and one billionth. The millimeter length is one millionth of the distance to the well-known point one kilometer away, and one billionth of the distance to the reference city one thousand kilometers away. To visualize quantities, sizes, distances, and times, ballpark figures are used, and they are rounded off so that they are easier to remember. To visualize a million, a billion. And a trillion grains of sand are used. Ten thousand trillion grains of sand would fill an imaginary cube a hundred meters wide. This imaginary cube sits along the hundred meter long path, or sits on top of and over a hundred meter long sport field, when and where available. 
10 trillion grains would fill an imaginary cube 10 meters wide. 10 billion grains would fill a cube 1 meter wide. A 10 centimeter wide transparent cube filled with 10 million grains of sand can be displayed for close inspection. 10,000 grains would fill a cube 1 centimeter wide. 10 grains would fit into a cube 1 millimeter wide. To visualize the vastness of the universe, an imaginary 100 meter diameter sphere over the sports field can be used. A grain of sand every cubic centimeter would make a half a trillion or 500 billion grains of sand in our imaginary sphere. If the universe was the sphere, then each grain of sand would represent a galaxy. If a typical galaxy was the sphere, then each grain of sand would represent a star. To visualize the smallness of the atom, an imaginary 3 meter wide cube over the sport field can be used. There are as many atoms in a 1 millimeter wide cube of gold as there are grains of sand in our imaginary cube over the sport field. If an atom was represented by a 100 meter diameter sphere over the sports field, then the nucleus of the atom would be a grain of sand one millimeter in diameter in the middle of the sphere and the electrons would be a fog filling the sphere. To visualize our solar system, the 100 meter long path could be used as a planet walk. The start point would have a 10 centimeter diameter sphere representing the sun. In this scale, Earth would be one millimeter in diameter 10 meters away. Our moon would be about three and a half centimeters away. Saturn would be one centimeter in diameter at the end of the 100 meter long path. The closest star would be 275 kilometers away and the closest galaxy would be further than our sun is from us. The speed of light can also be visualized moving at a pace that would take 8.3 minutes to travel the 10 meters to the earth going at half a centimeter per second. To visualize the time frames of our universe with the formation of earth and the evolution of life, the 14 billion years since our universe came into existence can be scaled to start at the 100 meter path and go 40,000 kilometers around the earth. With this scaling, three meters correspond to about a thousand years. The formation of our solar system would be 14,000 kilometers away and the origin of life would be about 10,000 kilometers away. Insects would appear a thousand kilometers away, mammals 500 kilometers away, and Homo sapiens 500 meters away. Ceramics would make their mark at the 100 meter mark at the end point of the path. Cloth at 30 meters, copper at 20 meters, bronze at 15 meters, and iron at 10 meters. One millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. One centimeter is one thousandth of 10 meters. 10 centimeters is one thousandth of a hundred meters. One meter is one thousandth of a kilometer. All of these ratios can be represented and clearly visualized from the facilities of the Think Park. By multiplying various scales in steps of a thousand, we can attain a further level of visualization and appreciation of the size of our reality from atoms to the universe. A proton is about a thousandth of the size of an atomic nucleus. An atomic nucleus is about a thousandth of the size of an atom. A small bacteria is about a thousand times larger and a small cell is a thousand times larger than that. With each multiplication of size a thousandfold, 
We reach sizes of brains, ballparks like the one in the think park, counties or small countries, our earth, our sun, our solar system, our neighborhood in the Milky Way, galaxies, groups of galaxies, and the entire observable universe. Then we can clearly see that we, the human race, is right in the middle of it all, and we can contemplate about our place and purpose in it and attempt to find and understand God.